Hello and welcome to a new Let's Play. Now I am actually playing this on the 25th. So yes, this game has actually just came out 10 hours ago from the time I'm playing this. And so, let's play. I don't think I really need to tell you what game it is. I'm going to play on medium. Now since it's a new game, I've never played it. Okay, I'm going to be Kirk. No, Kirk. Yeah, I'm going to play on my own for the moment. Spock can be AI. This is a multiplayer game. But I want to try it out single first. Apparently we're in an ambush already. Surrender may be our only option. No! Don't give him an inch! We start with you. Captain, grenade! Grenade? Am I dead already? Graphics are good, though. <coughs> Hello, Spock. Well, what's this going to be? Right. That was interesting. But now we are playing chess. It is your move, Captain. I'm aware of that, Mr. Spock. Damn it! Your choice was valid, Captain, but highly predictable. Predictable? Since when have I ever been predictable? That is precisely why the move was predictable, Captain. <laughs> Captain, we have received an emergency signal from a nearby space station. Please report to the bridge at once. Nice. Shall we finish the game later, or do you concede defeat? We'll finish it later. better than that by now, Spock. I never concede. Exactly. I have no idea how to play chess. Did you try reversing the phase oscillation? That's the oh, I found a try corner. And it's what? Ticking commander. Well, whenever you're ready, Spock. Hello, you're green. Green. I want that. I want that tablet, though. That's really cool. I want it. Not fair. Hello, Bridge. What's going on down there? The radiation from those binary stars is making communications difficult, but the station appears to be in some sort of distress. Hmm. Check off readings. They are operating on emergency power and are struggling to maintain altitude. Cause? Unknown, sir. Captain, they have issued a request for immediate evacuation. Then let's help them out. Mr. Scott, prepare transporters. I wouldn't recommend it, sir. Those stars are giving off too much interference. Unless we oh no, they haven't got up, Simon Pegg. Fry those little guys. That's really, really annoying. The old-fashioned way. Prepare my shuttle, meet me in the bay. Aye, aye, sir. Captain, in spite of your seemingly endless desire to stretch your legs, I must <laughs> remind you that you are still a Starfleet captain. This is clearly a job that Mr. Scott and a few ensigns could handle. 
but then I'd miss all the fun. Sir, the more prudent choice would be to stay on the Enterprise and wait for a response to our hails. Yeah, but since when have I been prudent? Uh, right. Lieutenant Uhura, any response to our hails? None, sir. Well, looks like I'm going. <laughs> Captain, I must insist. You insist? You know what, Mr. Spock? A change of scenery might do you some good, Captain. Exactly. Come with me. Ooh, I like this. Is huge. Your shuttle's ready, Captain. But do you think it's wise to go yourself? I'm sure me and some recruits could handle this. Don't worry, Scotty. We'll be fine. Always yeah, we'll be fine. Be nervous when he says that. Okay, Why which shuttle's mine? There? I don't want to go. I want that one. Oh, we don't have to go warp speed. Thank you very much. I want that one. I want that one. Oh no, I can't jump. That is vaguely annoying. God. So that means I have to bring the shuttle over myself. Over here. Where's Spot going? So I have to get into that control room. Oh, typical, making a captain do everything. Spock gets suited up. No, Captain. Ah, my shuttle. Ooh, it's on fire. Enterprise shuttle confirming approach at five by six. Maintain minimal safe distance. Affirmative, Must be these controls are very high levels of radiation awkward. Understand that it's a multiplayer. The space station would have been fried by those two stars by now. But what the are they doing out there, Captain? The station appears to be outfitted with solar collectors, but they are unlike any I have ever encountered. Mr. Sula, do you it's have like an experimental power station would be doing out here in the middle of nowhere? Negative, Captain. Whatever they're doing, Starfleet doesn't have any record of it. Preparing for final approach. Woo! Final approach. Loading screens are alright though. Not too bad. Very quick. Keep the engine running, Mr. Sulu. I don't think we plan on staying on that thing for too long. I know. Well, I do like my shuttle though. Space Station Shuttle Bay. Now that. I like that ship. I want it. Whoa. Medium. Oh, I can jump now. Wow, that is a spastic jump. Radiation scan commencing. Please step forward for decontamination. Ah, 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 ah. Could have warned Officer, us. Officer, where is the captain of this station? This way. We must hurry. Oh, jeez. He's gone. Damn it. Is this the fun you were afraid you were going to miss? Right. We need to right. get everyone out Obstacles. of here right Captain, we must find an alternate route. Very perceptive, Mr. Spock. These jumps are awful. I mean, they are really bad. Oh, I'm going in the vent. Spocky, are you coming with me? Yes, you are. Captain, we're picking up some strange readings. There appears to be some sort of anomaly. We kind of have our hands full. Anything we need to worry about right now? The readings are off the charts, sir. Them. Just keep an eye on it, Mr. Chekhov. Aye, aye, sir. Woo! Just get a bit burnt here. Come on, can I pick that up? No. Fine. Just need to get this door open. Come on. Thank you. Well, this station looks like it's seen better days. 
Oh my god, that fall was awful. He's stuck in there. Let's get him out of there. I believe the door can be hacked from this side. My god, that was awful. are unnecessary. Please proceed to the shuttle bay for immediate evacuation. Captain, I must mention that many of these crew members appear to be Vulcan. Your point. With fewer than 10,000 Vulcans remaining, I question the logic of placing them on any type of experimental power station. I question putting anybody on this thing, Mr. Spock, Vulcan or not. Agreed, sir. So I need to. I have no idea what to do here. What the hell am I doing? I have actually no idea how to do that. Okay, now I get it. Last two left. Right, that was, there was no instruction at all. And this is the graphics of the And this is the control center. Whoa. Fountain. Spark, don't die. Let's 
fuck where you got? Oh, there you go. Oh, and I died like a spastic. Try again. Hey, Spock, you look like you need a hand. Yes, we know he looks like he needs a hand. Sir, we need to disable that laser arm. Come on. Control the stupid. So this is a good one. Woohoo! Come on, Spock. God, Spock's so slow, isn't it? Come on. There we go. Mm, that doesn't sound good. Captain, I would not advise stepping into that scanner. No other way around, Spock. Just look down, you'll be fine. See, we were fine. Wasn't it? Oh, wow. Captain Kirk of the USS Enterprise, we have a shuttle ready for your evacuation. While we appreciate your assistance, our captain and many of our top scientists are mm -hmm. trapped in the transporter room on the other side of the station. We cannot simply abandon them. Any suggestions, Mr. Spock? If we were able to reach them, Mr. Scott may then be able to obtain a manual lock on our positions. I'm afraid that may prove impossible. All interior passages are blocked. Will the suits hold oh, up out great. there? Oh, great. So, this is this... And I'm losing my voice death. again. Well, As if this game Spock, wasn't hard enough. Exposure. Is what Captain, I was meant to say. I will offer whatever assistance I can oh, I looking at that. But again, I fear that these efforts... Yeah, yeah, we get it. Certain death. Any other words of advice? That's actually a cool looking station. I don't need to go that way. Oh, this is a Vulcan science station. Come on, Spock. Very quick, Spock. Am I going? That way. I must be really slow if I've only just figured out that this is Vulcan Station. We should engage mag boots now, sir. Okay. Wow. The solar collector is failing. We must avoid direct exposure. That suit is gonna melt off your back. Get into cover, Spock. I'm fine. It's getting hot out here. I am uncertain how much more exposure our suits can handle. Whose 
idea was this anyway? I believe it's yours, sir. Right. This book is such dimwit. And we're safe. Commander, help me open this. Come on. Thank you, Spock. Can I just... Yes, we can. Lieutenant, we have reached the station's core. We seek whatever further assistance you can provide. The only way forward is to shut down the core's rings. To do this, you will need to work together. Oh. One of you must scan the control console to stop the ring. This will allow the other person to engage the locking mechanism. Commander, I must warn you, a manual shutdown under these circumstances is highly risky. Gotcha. We should split up. I can't even shoot it. That's the locking mechanism. If Spock can slow down the ring long enough, I can shoot it. Success. The remaining rings. Wee. This way. Spark, where are you going? I'm going this way. Thank you. Yes, I do. We need to split up if this is going to work. One spot. Hurry up. Perhaps a phaser blast would release the mechanism. Thank you. Another one down. Just one more ring to go. Now where the hell's the bridge? There's a ring. Can kind I of just shoot that big ball in the middle? Nothing bad could happen, possibly happen if I do that. This place is falling apart! As if it wasn't hard enough. When the ring is stopped, that break is exposed. Captain, stay in cover. We need a way to permanently stop the rings. Perhaps a phaser blast would release the mechanism. Duck. Kirk, you're a twit.
Oh, we're back here. Okay, I'm going to call it a video. Until next time, until then, goodbye.